Hi guys, so it's actually the next day now. Excuse how I look, I have literally just got home from work, which is why all the makeup is completely melted off my face. It's been really hot again today. But I just wanted to kind of um, one fill in on what happened yesterday and just kind of explain it a little bit. So we, so it was my mum and dad's 30th wedding anniversary yesterday, which is their pearl wedding anniversary. And dad wanted to do something um, a few weeks back and then he texted me a couple weeks ago saying, do you fancy going to Highclere, which is where they filmed Downton Abbey. And I've never really watched Downton Abbey, but I quite enjoy like history and I like going and seeing like old buildings and getting to know like the history of them. And when dad mentioned it, I said, yeah, okay, that sounds really nice. Like a very nice day out. And basically after he booked it, I thought, I'm gonna watch Downton the film because it's now on Sky. So I watched Downton the film and I really enjoyed it. So I thought, yeah, I'm quite looking forward to going. It'd be nice to see kind of where they filmed some of the sets. Um, and yeah, so yeah, Dad basically gave it to Mum in a card the day before yesterday, just explaining what we were doing, where we were going. Um, so yeah, and then yesterday morning, Mum and Dad came and got me, and we went straight there. And then as soon as we got there, we kind of just went. And Dad also got two picnic sets, which you will see in the video as well. Um, and it was just really nice, nice way to celebrate that anniversary. Um, so yeah, and then when we got there, as you see in some of the footage, we um, took some photos and videos like outside the castle. Um, I did actually think it was called Highclere House, it's not, it's Highclere Castle. Um, and it's still lived in today, it's still being used. So if the actual, um, I think it's the Earl and Countess now that live there, can't remember where from <laughs> but if they ever have like people coming or anything like that it's still used so all the rooms are still used I think it said there was like 50 something rooms in the house or castle so it's, it was big we didn't get to see all of them we only got to see probably about 10 if that so when we um, so then we had lunch about half 12 um, and again it was really lovely and then we went around the house and in the house you had to wear um, a mask the whole way around so on a day like yesterday where it was about 30 degrees it was hot really hot <laughs> you can't ever film a video of cats around I tell you it just they are a nightmare I should have shut the door but anyway so yeah we had to wear our face mask around the whole of the house and it was fine you just like went round, it was actually really like, because you're looking around and stuff, it took my mind off wearing a mask, even though it was like a boiling hot day. Um, but yeah, so, looked around the house, got to see where some of the um, clips were filmed from Downton Abbey, and it was really surreal knowing that we had been in the same place that they had been filming as well. But, um, so yeah, got to look around and it was lovely, like all the interior was stunning. Um, so yeah, that was really nice. And then after we looked around the house, we then looked around all the gardens. There wasn't actually that many gardens. There was probably one garden. But as you'll see again in some of the footage, we went around there, they had some like lovely flowers. Um, and then I think after we did that, we then went and got a drink, because like I said, it was absolutely boiling. So we went and got um, frozen smoothies, which were yummy. Um, and then after that we thought why not go to the shop just have a look see if we can get any like memorabilia for the day um, which I actually did pick up a couple of bits so the bag comes like this so it's got the high clear cast one and it's got the picture of the castle as well and then so the bits I got from Highclere Castle, um, just something little, just to remember it by, it wasn't too expensive. So one thing I've really wanted recently, as you would have seen like my makeup collection, I only use at, like at a time a certain amount of makeup. I don't use all of my makeup all at once, and I go through phases of which foundations I like and which mascaras and stuff. So sometimes I find it just easy being able to just grab it all from one place. And I don't normally like having like a makeup bag. So because of this, I actually got myself a tray to keep it all in, and it's just a like a floral sort of print. 
I think this was like a pound, it was like really cheap and I really like the design so I got that. Um, another thing I got which I'm going to start collecting wherever we go which is something my mum and dad do is a fridge magnet. So that is again it just says high clear castle on it and it's sort of like a art deco type theme. Um, I did get something from that but I can't find it <laughs> typically. And the other thing I bought because I love strawberries and because I thought it was really cute was this little strawberry mug. So occasionally I just like having like a small mug of milk in the evening or I just fancy sometimes like a really small cup of tea. I don't want like a huge one. So I thought this mug is quite a cute little size. Again, it was like five pounds. It wasn't too expensive, but yeah. So I just wanted to kind of fill you in. After we went round the grounds, went to the shop and everything, it was kind of time to come home. So we went to ZZ's. We were gonna stop at a pub on the way home, but every single pub was shut. So we kind of scrapped that idea and just went straight to ZZ's. Sorry, Mango's tail is in the camera again. This is what I mean, you can't film with cats around because they just want to be in it. But yeah, so on the way home, we then stopped at ZZ's in Dorchester and it was really nice. We managed to get a table and they actually told us the wait would be about half an hour and we were in within 10 minutes. So that was really good from them. Um, so yeah, it was just all in all a really, really lovely day. I really enjoyed myself and when me and my family do stuff like that, it just, I love making memories and love being able to look back on things. And now I'm starting to do like vlogs and stuff like that. It'll be really nice for my family to be able to look back at this as well as me. Um, again, you will be kind of seeing my parents and my sister in this video. I didn't really introduce them very well. I actually think Maggie introduced them because I just get embarrassed. I don't know why, I just didn't want to do it. So Maggie was like, I'll do it. And I was like, yep, yeah, sure, crack on. So there is a small snippet of Maggie kind of doing a bit of a vlog or a bit of filming. Um, but yeah, I hope you do enjoy. This is probably my first attempt at a vlog and I actually really enjoy doing it. There was a couple of people that were looking at me, but I just kind of ignored them in a way. I didn't really care that they were looking um, and like I said I enjoyed doing it and it was nice for my family to be able to look back on this experience. So yeah I do hope you enjoy this first vlog of mine. Um, again it was a really fun day um, and yeah I hope you do enjoy. So again please smash the thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. It would mean a lot to me um, and I will see you again in my next video. Hi guys. <laughs> Hi guys. Oh, Mumsy. Hi guys. <laughs> To the vlog. Mm. Um, I wouldn't mind just walking over it and uh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Mum, oh, oh, hello. I'm in the shit in. in oh. the <laughs> Welcome to Downton. Do, do, We're here do, do, at Downton do. to meet the Granthams. <laughs> They're waiting for us. I hope you enjoy. So we just arrived at Heiko Castle, as you can see in the background just here. Just gonna go get our tickets to go in.
two, three. Oh. Ooh! How posh! Oh, wow! Oh, wow! I'd like to start off by saying thank you all for coming. It's <laughs> driving. Uh, it was on this. This very spot. <laughs> uh, this very spot. Um, that Mr. Bates said to Anna during an episode of Dancing, uh, series two, episode seven, oh. I think it was. Um, and, uh, and I quote Anna. Just like my faithful old walking stick <laughs> on my gated lip, I need someone to lean on, to be there to support me when I think I'm going to fall and land in some portion. <laughs> <laughs> Not so bad. <laughs> Anna. Oh, that's quite dramatic. <laughs> you are the walking stick. Yeah. And you, like the words that Elton wrote, I'm still standing. <laughs> is where I am today without you, my love. <coughs> like the cost of it, HS2 will be ends. That is the end. Woo! Well done, Dad. You having a good day, Mum? I'm having a lovely day, thank you very much. It's quite hot, but now I've got my mango and passion fruit smoothies. All is good. Thank you. Yeah. How's your day, Maggie? Good. Really good. <laughs> I'm <just really> hot. <laughs> yeah. Dad. I'm Look. glad. I can definitely say. Oh, are you? I'll oh, let you. To get to have this moment. <laughs> it's just up to the temperature, the and it's temper. only 86. There you go. 100 even though it feels like 100 degrees.
Yeah, it's hot. Very hot. There's the castle. Around, I was say, there's the castle. We Ooh. thought it was a house, but it's not. It's a castle. Who knew? It does say High Clare House, but it is actually a castle, and it is lived in, which is nice to know that the rooms aren't just being neglected. Well, not it was neglected, built. It was the architect was Charles Barry, and the grounds were done by I can never remember his name. Um, who did I say it was the other day earlier on? Um, uh, something brown. Uh, <laughs> very famous. Someone very famous. Very famous. <laughs> so famous we don't even know his name. No his name. Yeah, we do know his we name. Do. I just can't we just remember can't his name. Remember. So yeah, a um, good day. Just a rather hot. But it's been lovely. <laughs> See the castle behind me. I'm actually quite sad to go because it's actually been a really nice day. Everyone's just walking to the car. I think we're now gonna stop off and get some food on the way home before we will just go home. Try and end it on a nice day because it's been a lovely day. The sun's been just so hot though. I'm not complaining, <laughs> I'm just British, that's what we do. Um, but yeah, it's been a really lovely day to wrote, celebrating mum and dad's anniversary, 30 years of marriage. I hope one day that's me, but we shall see. So yeah, and I will catch up with you guys in a bit. We are now oh, at Zizi, oh, sat next to mum. Hello! Dad and Maggie sat there as well, so we're just getting something to eat. We were going to get food on the way home, but everywhere was either closed or booked. Or, or so oh, that we've come to ZZ, so we're sat on the balcony. The the brewery square. Like um, that does sound like spaghetti trip. So, so yeah, people buy evening. 